Today I'm going to be fitting a CR Touch to my Ender 3 version 2. So this is Creality's uh, CR Touch. Let's unbox it and have a look what we got. Comes with brackets for all different sorts of Ender printers. I've got the Ender 3 V2 so I'll just be using one of the brackets. That's in there. There we go. So we have the three different brackets and the CR Touch itself. What else is in the box? Some cable, some screws. Ah, oh, and some instructions. That should do us. We'll get back to them if we need them. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to need this bracket for the CR Touch for the CR Touch on the end of 3V2. That's got right, right there. So that's good. I'll start pulling this apart. And reach in here. Take the fan cover off first. Number two. The CR Touch itself. Okay, that's that. That's that bit done. Now I'm going to do the cabling. I'm going to try and run it through this sleeving. Don't need the power. I'm going to plug that. these tires off. I'm going to actually take my spool holder off just to give me a bit more room to work. I like the side mounted spool holder, just printed it off Thingiverse. I'll put a link in the description. I'll lay the printer over now to get rid of this cabling. I'll just pull the screws off of the electronics bay cover first. Save me doing it after. Saw my last video. This is a recent mod I've done. Update the fans for the main board and fitted a buck converter to adapt the voltage to 12 volts for the fan. So you can see that all in there the buck converter and the 80 mil fan instead of the little 40 mil they have. So yeah, this is our CR touch cable. I'm going to feed the small end through that tube and see how we go. Get some kinks out of it first. I'll have to update the firmware to the BL Touch firmware. I'll show you in the video how to do that. Running Jaya's firmware on this, much prefer it to the original end Creality version. A lot more features enabled and seems to be more stable. Stand it back up and do the rest on the top. Okay, now we're back the right way up. We'll put the sour touch in. And there we go. Now we just have to update the firmware, cable tie a few things up. Yeah, I'm using Jaya's firmware and that's available on GitHub and I'll give you the um, link in the description. I'm using the 5x5 mesh, but you can use the 3x3 if you want it to be a little quicker. Just need to download it and then copy it over to an SD card. To a freshly formatted SD card is the best way. And then that's it. Then I eject that disk and we'll move back to the printer to install the firmware. So we take our SD card, slip it in, and away we go. Okay, make sure you do this with the power off. Insert the SD card. And then power the printer on and the firmware will install. Once the SD card's inserted, we power on and watch the display. 
and it'll just take a few seconds to update. There we go, firmware updated. Yeah, you'll notice with Jolos, um, this has got more colours in the display now, and you have a new menu, um, which is the level menu, which is been handy, and you can create a new mesh. You're supposed to warm the bed up before you do it, the glass hop, because it does move quite a bit actually, it's surprising how much it moves. Now we've got all that done, I just last thing I need to do before we can print is adjust the Z offset. Okay, go to the pair menu, down to Z offset, I do live adjustment, it's going to do a quick home. Okay, let's move to the centre of the bed. Okay, so we need the paper trick, so we need to put a piece of paper in there. Okay, so I can adjust it here, so if I want to, or I can just do up, micro steps up or down. It's got to go down. Okay, and I'm starting to feel some drag there. Got plenty of free movement there. Micro step down. It's getting tighter. I can start to feel it there. 0.13 is about perfect for me. Just to drag. Just to feel the drag on the paper. I'm going to go down to save and save. That's it. Done. Get out of here, set up a print. Thanks for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, just leave it in the comment below. I'd love to help or any ideas, um, let me know. If you like what you saw, why not subscribe? Hit that like button. I'm Phil, and this is Phil Talks Tech.